welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Swaja and I am super glad to see you on my channel so today's video is about uh, viral tiktok patterns I have improvised those techniques by using different products and that has turned out pretty well and if you enjoyed today's video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give a like to the video and without wasting a minute let's get started So, this pattern video is from TikTok in which people are using stickable craft stones on a glass vase from dollar store and painting them with a spray paint. So, I did the similar to that and I got same vase from dollar store and marked according to the stones. I give a try to pretty big stones that a TikTok video and I had to use glue gun to stick them. E6000 would be the best but I did not have any so I used glue gun. And once I had them all set, I started to mix paint. I was trying to make a specific yellow shade like a mustard yellow so I had to mix many colors. Once I got my shade, I added same or almost same amount of baking soda to the paint and started to paint it. This was the part I was regretting using acrylic paint. Spray paint would be the best option and just because I was using acrylic paint, it needs one or two coats to the to the glass surface. And Yes, I had. it was really hard to cover all those stones and the edges for it. So I would suggest to use spray paint for sure. And I got done in two coats because uh, I had a baking soda added to the paint that provided a good thickness of the paint. So I got covered in two, um, two coats. And yes, uh, in the last week, a good finish, I covered some parts with using the matte coat on top of the paint. So for this one, I had a square base type of piece. To make a strong base, I covered it in a good thickness of speckle from all four sides except the base. To be honest, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just tried to cover surface with the speckle so the top layer, like a layer on top of this, does not come out easily. Once that dried, I took a tiny amount of speckle and made a thin layer out of it. And with the same knife, I started to make a straight lines. And just to make those lines a little more clear, I was taking out extra speckle. like this before it dried and I let it dry for about 10 to 12 hours and got it inside for the final touch I painted empty surface and surface where I was still able to see the uh, glass underneath I uh, just painted that with a white color just to match it with the speckle and this is how I made it for tuning in and if you have enjoyed this video please do not forget to engage with my channel by subscribing to my channel sharing this video or liking this video it helps me to create my youtube community and i will see you all in the next video bye bye